congratulations. This is what Kenyans have been waiting for. And finally, 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 the Deputy President of Kenya, William Somoe Arapruto, has announced his Deputy President in the Kenya Kwanza Coalition of Parties Alliance. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this uh, Kenya Kwanza press conference. As uh, you can see, we have uh, the Kenya Kwanza fraternity here this morning. Uh, yesterday, we had a 17-hour marathon meeting of the Kenya Kwanza family. We had the opportunity to interrogate many issues that are of concern and that are in the frame and the context of what we have always said, that Kenya Kwanza is about the people and the people issues. And at the heart of the people issues Kenya Kwanza wants to pursue is the economy of our country. As you are aware, we have, um, in the last uh, several weeks, admitted new members into the Kenya Kwanza family. And they have come with new um, insights and inputs. And as a result, we spent considerable time yesterday harmonizing the various positions um, that are in our political formations and synergizing it and consolidating our position around a joint manifesto program and plan. And therefore, yesterday, our new entrants, largely the people from the Democratic Party, and their party leader is here, uh, Justin Muturi, uh, Maendeleo Chap Chap Party, and the party leader is here, uh, my good friend Alfred Mutua, to the Tujibebe Party, and the party leader here. Uh, is here my good friend uh, William Kabogo Ketau and uh, the party leader of Pamoja Africa Alliance, PA, my good friend Amazon Jeffa Kingi is here and of course the one and only Moses Kuria of uh, Chama Chakazi. So Oh, sorry. And uh, my friend of uh, almost 30 years, Mwangi Kiunjuri, the party leader of uh, the Service Party of Kenya, and also the Farmers Party by our good brother, Mr. Irungu. So yesterday we have an intensive meeting that lasted 17 hours. And as I have said, we, um, amongst the issues that we prosecuted were the integration and the orientation of the new partners that have joined the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance and the formalization of their participation in coalition activities that will take place over the next three months. We also agreed on how to share responsibilities, provided, provide leadership on how to campaign pro, on the campaign program and how we are going to coordinate uh, all those activities. 
We also um, agreed on how to harmonize our agenda on the different policy positions of the Alliance Constituents Parties to correspond to the economic blueprint that is in the center of the Kenya Kwanzaa uh, agenda. Um, we have um, therefore incorporated the membership of the new parties into our economic team. We have an economic team led by Professor David Ndee. We originally had membership uh, come on board from uh, ANC and Fort Kenya and all the other parties that came uh, subsequently. And now we have brought on board, expanded it so that it now includes membership from the other constituent parties. And as we said, that at the heart of the conversation that we want to have in the nation as we go to this election is the economy. We have tasked the team that now includes members from the other parties to work on our county economic priority programs. I've given them 45 days to uh, make sure that we have done all the county economic charters because Kenya Kwanzaa intends to sign an economic charter with every county of the Republic of Kenya on their priorities so that when we take over government day one, we will hit the ground running. And therefore, we have tasked the economic team to quickly um, run us through a program that will take us to the remaining counties. A lot of those uh, consultations have been done. I am sure you are aware our last post was in Transoya uh, after we completed uh, um, uh, Busia and Bungoma. We already have done um, Nyeri, we have done Meru, and we have scheduled to do the remaining counties uh, within the next 45 days so that people, Kenyans, can speak to the issues they want their next government to deal with. We promise the country that this is going to be bottom up and that is what this economic fora in every county is all about. It's going to inform the Kenya Kwanzaa manifesto and economic blueprint. Among some of the issues we have asked the team to quickly uh, address uh, is to prepare a framework for the setting up and implementation of the Kenya Kwanzaa 50 billion yearly hustler fund to facilitate access to affordable credit to the 10 million micro and small enterprises, uh, micro and uh, small enterprise uh, people, including, as we've always said, the Mamambogas, Border Borders, and all the micro uh, entrepreneurs who today access credit at between 500 and 3,000 percent per year when the rest of us access credit at 14, 15 percent. We have also asked our team to provide mechanisms for to eliminate and to bring into force a non-exploitative government-led mobile and digital loan facility as alternative to um, source of low interest credit to grant reprieve to the 15 million Kenyans who today are blacklisted in the CRB. They will also conceptualize necessary administrative and legislative interventions 
on farmers' support for subsidized farm inputs, including fertilizer, um, feed, feeds, uh, I'm talking about animal feeding, and a national government-aided agricultural mechanization plan and irrigation program to also asked and tasked our economic team to work out a framework for equitable resource allocation on a win-win arrangement that will ensure that we capture the allocation of resources based on population amongst other considerations and address the current situation and in that formula we have done it before it will be a win-win formula where no county will lose its budgetary allocation because we believe that nobody should lose for another to gain. We can always uh, structure a win-win arrangement. And um, we will be able to do this, and let me repeat it again, we will be able to, do, to implement this equitable uh, resource allocation without necessarily spending 20, 30 billion shillings to change the constitution. We have innovative and creative ways of ensuring that this can be done within the existing parameters of the law. In any case, the one man, one shilling proposal was actually a Hustler Nation proposal. And it is going to be dovetailed in our bottom-up economic uh, program that will ensure that we build our economy starting with the majority who are disadvantaged. We have also agreed on the restructuring of our tax system and we expect our economic team to come up with proposals for interrogation by our executive teams so that we can work on administrative and legislative measures to achieve two fundamental objectives. Accelerate effective, efficient uh, and taxpayer friendly collection of taxes to at least double our revenue collection while eliminating tax waivers for politically correct enterprises. We are very clear that the same way between 2002 and 2012, we were able to increase our tax revenues fivefold. It is possible for us working smart in a friendly environment, we can double our taxes and ensure that we have the resources to retire our debt and to fund our development. The team will also provide a detailed framework on the current status of transport operations including the SGR and recommend measures that will reinstate economic activity in the port of Mombasa, Lamu, and auxiliary facilities for the purposes of economic revival of the coast region that has been hurt substantially by the interventions that were carried out without public participation of the people that are now affected by these operations. This team will, on, will also work on the National Land Compensation Fund to facilitate the acquisition of land from absentee landlords and other underutilized but available lands to facilitate the settlement 
of landless Kenyans in the coast and other parts of our country where the problem persists. And to facilitate and fast track this process, parties that have recently joined the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance have recommended the following people to work with our existing economic team, as I have said, led by Professor David D. The Democratic Party have suggested the name of Justice Kariuki, who will join that team. The Service Party, under my brother Mwangi Kunjuri, has suggested Judy Muhia to, to join that team. Maendeleo Chapchap Party have suggested Morris Mudama to join that team. To Jibebe Wa Kenya Party has suggested Ruth Mudoni Mwadi to join that team. And Pamoja African Alliance have suggested uh, Edward Mwashinga to join the team, and Chama Chakazi have suggested Dr. Joyce Nyam Nyamwea to join our economic team. I am very proud that uh, these men and women will bring a lot of value to our already existing economic team as we centralize the place of the economy in our approach to this election and to the transformation of our nation. We also um, spend many hours uh, discussing how we are going to win this election in round one. We, ag we have agreed on the coordination of the Kenya campaign activities around the country and we've also agreed on modalities of how our candidate will engage in campaign for our candidates without necessarily being bogged down with unhealthy competition. As Kenya Kwanzaa, we are a coalition of Democrats, we are a coalition of the willing, and we are a coalition of the free. All parties will be allowed to field their candidates. We will, however, as Kenya Kwanzaa, empower our candidates in every ward, in every constituency, and in every county with scientific information on the performance of each and every candidate. And we will also provide a framework to encourage local agreements amongst the different parties in different electoral areas to negotiate and agree on the best approach to our alliance winning a majority of seats in every level. We will also provide a template on how our candidates will coordinate in every county and in every constituency and towards this end we have um, agreed on the following to provide leadership of our teams in the various regions. Governor Salim Vuria, Governor Amazon Kingi, former Governor Isa Timami, and Mama Lydia Haika to take charge of our coast region activities and provide leadership as they involve all the candidates and all the players from all the parties in making sure that our campaign activities are seamless, they are focused, and they are fruitful. We have also agreed that uh, Senator Johnson Mudama, Governor Alfred Mutua, Benina Malonza, Adelina Mwau, and Jonathan Mweke will take charge of our southeastern region activities, again to consolidate our position and to provide overall leadership and ensure that our candidates um, work with synergy. We've also agreed that uh, our speaker, Justin Muturi, Mithika Linturi, uh, Beatrice uh, Nkatha, will also involve other leaders in the Mount Kenya East region in uh, providing the necessary leadership in that region. Honorable Alice Wahome, 
Governor Waiguru, Mwangi eh, Kiljuri, the party leader of KSP, Governor William Kabogo, um, Kimani Shungwa, and Governor Mutahi Kahiga, together with Patrick Mariro and Faith Ketau, will provide uh, the overall leadership as they work with all the candidates and all uh, our parties in the central Kenya region. And in Rift Valley, our activities will be coordinated by Susan Kehika, uh, Charles Keter, our former CS, Governor Joseph Nanok, Governor Moses Lenonkulal, Paris Tobiko, and Governor Tunai, together with uh, Senator Murkomen and Margaret Wanjala, and in Immaculate Shamala, will do the same in our Rift Valley region. In Nyanza, we will have Governor Obado, Okoth Obado, Charles Nyachai, Eliud Dowalo, Silvanas Osoro, and Vincent Kemosi uh, to provide leadership in that, uh, in that region. And in Western region, uh, Speaker Kenneth Lusaka, Beatrice Adagala, Benjamin Washali, Babu Namwamba, and Emmanuel Osore will also provide um, overall uh, political leadership, working with all the political parties in the Kenya Kwanzaa fraternity uh, in, in Western Kenya region. And in Northeastern, uh, Honorable Aden Duale and Ahmed Kolosh amongst uh, other leaders from Mandera will also participate in providing overall leadership in that region. And finally, in the Upper Eastern region, Colonel uh, Russo, Dito, Dido Ali, uh, Hassan Tene, and Mama Wario will provide leadership in that, in that, in that region. Again, this is overall leadership, but all political parties, all candidates, will form part of the campaign structure as we go towards this election. And finally, we had a candid, extensive, robust discussion on the subject of my running mate, who will be the running mate of the Kenya Kwanzaa Coalition. You are aware uh, that this process is underway and there is a requirement by the IEPC that names of running mates be submitted by Monday. Many highly qualified uh, uh, Kenyans uh, were considered in this uh, engagement and after lengthy exhaustive consultations uh, and deliberations and having reflected on the task ahead for the Kenya Kwanzaa family, that engagement was not only a UDA engagement, it was also a Kenya Kwanzaa engagement. And that is why all the political leaders from our coalition are here. I um, want to thank the many Kenyans, the good leaders who've shown us goodwill. They've given us advice. They've sent us messages. They've sent us WhatsApp messages. They have called us on phone. Many, I know, have prayed about this matter. And um, many leaders here have made their input. I want to single out the great men and women who were considered uh, in the exercise that has gone on around the running mate issue. And I want to uh, single out very knowledgeable, astute, 
Samson Ndindi Nyoro who is right here who the people of Kenya have a lot of liking for because he is forthright he is intelligent and he is passionate about the leadership of our country I want to tell my young brother Ndindi Nyoro you have a future ahead of you and we will work with you. I also want to thank my dear sister Alice Mudoni Wahome, who was a, a formidable candidate. Thank you very much, my dear, uh, and who uh, made it uh, to the shortlist, just like uh, Ndindi Nyoro. I I want to say that. Alice Wahome is a self-made woman. She has built her stature. She is a two-term member of parliament. She has a track record in the um, NGO fraternity. Uh, and, and I want to say that she is among the formidable women leaders we have in Kenya Kwanzaa. Again, she made it to the shortlist. Congratulations, Madam. The future is wide open. Uh, I also want uh, uh, to single out my good brother, the Speaker of the National Assembly, Justin Bidan Mutul, who many Kenyans pushed his candidature to the table because of his experience, his stature, and the fact that he has ably guided our National Assembly for now 10 years. Uh, and he brings a lot of valuable support, experience, and insights into our team. Again my brother Justin Muturi Asante Sana. Let me also um, appreciate my sister, the one and only, uh, Mombe Waiguru, Anna, who um, missed it by a whisker, I must say. And uh, she came with exceptional credentials as a woman leader with a track record and with experience in the economic sphere. The current governor of uh, Kirinyaga, who also made it uh, to the shortlist. Again, Governor Ann Waiguru. I want to tell you from where I sit, the future belongs to you. you are, it's wide open. Um, of course, I won't, before I come to our candidate, I want to very sincerely thank my lawyer, my friend, Professor Abraham Kidure Kindiki. who came very far and became the runner-up in this contest. Again, a forthright Kenyan, a Kenyan of great standing, a lawyer par excellence, our former Deputy Speaker of the Senate, and the man who defeated that fellow called Ocampo, um, the current Senator of the Rakanidhi County, who is not here with us now, but who brought a lot of experience, a lot of passion, 
and a lot of commitment to this contest. And finally, in the end, the consensus pointed out to an individual who scored excellent points on every evaluative parameter, an astute debater with prodigious persuasive ability, a fantastic grassroots mobilizer, a disciplined and tireless political operative. A successful elected politician and business person, a principal politician of tremendous resilience and resolve, a fearless fighter for the right course, and an indefatigable champion of the betrayed, persecuted, downtrodden, the despised, and the ignored. A living example of a true hustler who rose from the hardships of the aftermath of our freedom struggle to the pinnacle of professional business and political success. We are nominating a running mate, and I have every intention on my first day in office to sign an executive order in accordance with Article 21E of the Kenyan Constitution. Uh, uh, Article 21E of, sorry, of the Kenya Kwanzaa Coalition Agreement that will provide this Kenyan an expanded role together with what the Constitution gives the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. And having myself occupied that office for the last close to 10 years, I believe that that office can serve the people of Kenya better. We can get more output from the office of the Deputy President if it is not cannibalized or vandalized. And I have every intention on my first day in office to sign an executive order that will give clear responsibilities to the Deputy President. The Deputy President under the Kenya Kwanzaa arrangement will chair cabinet committees. The Deputy President will oversee the implementation of cabinet decisions. The Deputy President will coordinate intergovernmental relations between the national government and the county government, a function I currently undertake. But I will formalize it in the executive order. Coordinate the learning, our Deputy President will coordinate the learning and supervising no, the planning, sorry, and the supervision of the implementation of development projects funded by development partners and programs under that arrangement. The Deputy President under the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance will coordinate constitutional commissions and independent offices in matters that require that intervention or intervention of national government including but not limited to budget and policy frameworks for their operation. And the Deputy President under the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance will also perform real duties that will be assigned to him by the President. I say this because it is important that every constitutional office must work for the people of Kenya. Um, ladies and gentlemen,
that good Kenyan, my friend, whom I have worked with, especially on the economic model that now has famously been referred to the bottom-up economic model. And we started that journey together. He understands people issues. He is passionate about ordinary people. My friend, I present to you the Kenya Kwanzaa running mate candidate, my brother and friend, Rigavi Gashaba. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And straight up, as I present my brother Rigavi Kashagwa, I have agreed with him that him and me will work together with the Kenya Kwanzaa leadership represented here by the party leaders and other officials that we will work intentionally to mentor the younger leaders in our formation and that we will deliberately provide room for those who are young in our formation to grow as leaders. And my deputy and I have agreed that when our time comes to leave, we will leave and we will mentor other people to make sure we have proper, proper transition. Uh, because we believe that part of the success of any leadership is to mentor the younger ones into better leaders as we go into the future. We undertake that we will do that for the people, the leaders in our Kenya Kwanzaa formation alongside the other leaders who are here with us. We have also agreed with the Kenya Kwanzaa leaders seated here that we are committed to ensuring that the issue of gender, which has dogged our country since we started the implementation of the new constitution, that we will take the bull by the horns and ensure that within one year of our administration, the issue of gender will be sorted out. And the leadership at all levels will respect the constitutional required threshold. And in our administration, I have agreed with all the leaders here that we will start on day one with our administration that of the 21 ministers that we will appoint, 10 will be women. And we will ensure that all other appointive positions will respect the two-third gender rule as we work on ensuring that even the elective, we have the mechanism to ensure that we mainstream leadership of women 
youth and people living with disability as part of our agenda of not just inclusive economic growth but also inclusive governance. We believe that there is a wealth of, exper there is a wealth of uh, experience and knowledge that can be brought on board by inclusion of all sectors of uh, our society. Uh, I want to leave uh, uh, that matter there and request my good friend, the Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa, to make uh, his uh, terrible decision.